when you live in sin, you forfeit your relationship with the Heavenly Father, your health, prosperity, breakthrough, deliverance. You forfeit the promises of God. Because at that moment, you're surrendering to the will of the enemy and not the heavenly father. See, the enemy wants to do the complete opposite of what the heavenly father wants to do for you. The enemy wants you to remain in a place of lack. The enemy wants to steal you away from your relationship with the heavenly father. The enemy wants you to be sick. The enemy don't want you to heal. The enemy wants to cause a wedge between you and your loved ones. But see, God want to bring you to a place of restoration. God wants to restore you. See, when you live according to God's will, his word will preserve your life because it's leading you out of the land of your affliction. God is separating you from the devastation that comes from sin into his everlasting life, his glory, his favor, his promises. See, the words say, he that endure temptation shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord has promised to them that love him. See, endurance means to keep going. Even if you're going through trials and tribulations, because what happens is when we live wrong, we start speaking negative toward ourselves and we start coming up with a bunch of reasons of why the heavenly father can't possibly love a sinner like me. See, the enemy will use that mentality to make you forget about the unconditional love that the heavenly father has towards someone that has true repentance in their hearts, in their mind, in their soul. Someone that truly wants to overcome their affliction, overcome their mishaps, overcome the stuff that they struggle with. God has open arms for them that come to him. See, the enemy will use that negativity that's in your mind to cause you to separate yourself from the presence of God. That's what happens when we live wrong. Because every time we do something that we're not supposed to, that we know is not pleasing in the sight of God, we run away from God. Every single time we do something wrong, we run away from God. We fight against the spirit. That's what the enemy wants you to do. He wants you to run away from God. Why do you think all these temptations and devices in this world causes you to be distracted? Because the enemy wants you to fulfill the lust of the flesh. He wants you to be swept away with the pleasures of life so that you turn your back against God. See, that's what happens. When you run away from God, you literally have to turn your back in order to run away. But God doesn't want that for you. He wants you to turn toward him so he can help you overcome what you struggle with. Real change happens when you remain in the presence of God, no matter what's going on in your life. You could be going through the worst thing possible. But if you continue to believe in the heavenly father, over the course of time, he will heal you. See, sin causes you to forfeit what God wants to do for you. But your faith will cause him to override what the enemy tried to do to you. See, our faith. Is what pleases the Heavenly Father. And the more you remain in his presence by believing is what will change you. That's how we get to a place of living right. Because God is going to help you grow into your purpose. But you got to remain in his presence. When you plant a seed in the ground, it's going to need a few things. It's going to need you to watch over. 
It's going to need sunlight, water, good soil, a shield of protection so that it may grow and mature into what it was created to be. But if it has neither of those things I mentioned, it will never grow into its full maturity because the cares of life will happen. Things will happen in life. Animals might try to pluck it out. People might walk over it, step on it, especially if it don't got no shield of protection. And guess what else going to happen? Storms. Storms will happen. They will rage on as we continue to live in this life. See, the word of God is that seed. We are that seed. Because when you accept Lord Jesus Christ, that's accepting the word of God. And if we don't remain in the presence of God, we're going to wither away just like that seed that didn't have the person to take care of. it. See, when you remain with God, when you do his will, that's how you grow into full maturity of your faith. Because God going to supply your needs just like that seed. Watch this. God going to supply your needs. He's going to supply you with his son, Lord Jesus. And by the way, Lord Jesus is that living water. We need all those things to grow. We need Lord Jesus. We need the living water. We need nourishment for our soul. We need the bread of life. We need the word of God. And when we live by all those categories, by having faith, we will grow into our purpose. See, there's only one way in, and it's through Lord Jesus. Don't submit to the will of the enemy. Submit to the will of God. His way always leads to life. The reason why I follow Lord Jesus, because he let me know it won't be easy. But see, the enemy ain't going to tell you none of that. The enemy going to make you believe that all you need is the riches of this world. All you need is to have a little bit of this, have a little bit of that, and be satisfied with sin. The enemy wants you to be satisfied with sin. But what's the wages of sin? Death. It's going to lead you to death. But before it does, it's going to bring you to a place of lack. You're going to be depressed. You're going to be overran by anxiety. You're going to be caught in the infrastructure of what the world built. See, to have a relationship with the Heavenly Father is what real prosperity looks like. That's real prosperity. Because God already know what you are in need of. He says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness. Then shall he add all these things to your life. There's things that the Heavenly Father has stored up for you in heaven. And wherever your heart is, there will your treasure be also. So if your heart is in this world with living wrong and doing whatever you can, that's where your treasure is going to be. And guess what? If that's where your treasure is, if your treasure is invested, in this world system, the devil can steal it away from. He can steal everything you work hard for. All that pride in your heart because you want to hold on to the stuff of this world. So it's going to cause you to be miserable. Because now you're chasing after something that continues to flee away from you. The devil can take what you invest into this world. The Bible say he comes to kill, steal, and destroy. 
He's going to try to steal everything away from you. He's going to try to destroy your life. He's going to try to put you in places that could potentially cause you to lose your life. That's what happens when we become distracted with the pleasures of life. When we store our treasure here on earth. But if your heart is where the heavenly father is, when Lord Jesus is in your heart, that's when you gain access to the abundance of what God really wants you to have. Don't let the devil cause you to forfeit what God wants to give you. I pray this bless you in Jesus name. Amen. And know, yeah, if you can't do it in heaven, you shouldn't do it here.